Greetings, classic Electrolux fans. This is a very special machine for me. For people who are new to my channel, this is an Electrolux 1401B from 1980. This is a family-owned machine, and by that I mean we actually purchased this machine in 1980, and it's been in my family since then. I acquired this machine in 1987 when my mother no longer wanted it. So I've had it for, well, it's 2019, about 32 years, and it's time to go ahead and do a motor teardown. Now, I've already done some work on this machine in the past. I was able to go and uh, readjust the cord winder so it has enough uh, springiness in it to where the cord goes back in. I did that a number of years ago. And I also did, uh, uh, I guess, a verification and uh, a tune-up of the front end of it. So I made sure that the bag eject mechanism and also the indicator light bulb was still functional. So I took care of that. So let's go and get the motor out of this machine. That's going to be the primary focus. And see if I can't deal with the bearings. Because I'm pretty sure that this machine has probably never had any type of motor slash bearing service since 1980. But before I do that, how about we listen to what the current status of the motor is. All right, that actually sounds fairly smooth, but I'm counting about a 10 second wind down. And of course the wind up is essentially flawless. So I just bet you, if I'm able to successfully examine the bearings in here, I just bet you I'm going to find that the grease is little to none. But let's find out. <laughs> If you were wondering why I don't just pull all these wires off here, it's because I can't. So I can pull this one off to be sure, and I can pull this one off to be sure. I can't pull this remaining white wire off because it's been soldered on. And the reason why it was soldered on is because a repair was done oh, over 30 years ago before I got it. And uh, that's what the vacuum store did. So maybe one of these days I'll uh, wick that solder off and then um, put one of these lugs on here. But it's not like I'm trying to get into this machine repeatedly. So it hasn't bothered me so much, although it doesn't give me much room to work with.
let's take a look at these carbon brushes for a minute. This is insane. Look at the size of these things relative to my fingers. I mean, really. That's just <laughs> unbelievable. Look at, the, look at the holders. I mean, they just don't make them like this anymore. This is just entirely um, too heavy duty for residential use, or at least that's what the manufacturers think. But that is absolutely phenomenal. So that's why this thing lasts so long. Yeah, quality from days gone by that you really aren't ever going to see again.